Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor and today we will be talking about the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. Welcome back. <clears throat> today we'll be talking about Section 5.3, the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus, and uh, we're going to start with problem number 11. And in problem number 11, we're given this graph of a function f of t. Okay, so let me just point out a few things just so it's really clear what this graph is saying. Uh, you see this graph is going up, going down, going up. And in this little region that I shaded in right here, there's an area of 8. So this little region has an area of 8. This region right here has an area of 17. And this region right here has an area of 9. Okay, then we're given two functions. Uh, we have the function a of x, and a of x represents the value that I get when I integrate from negative 2 to x of this function f of t dt. Capital F of x is the integral from 4 to x of little f of t dt. Okay, so given that and given this graph, we'd like to find uh, five different values. We'd like to find a of negative 2, f of 8, a of 4, f of 4, and a of 8. Okay, let's do it. So let's start out with a of negative 2. Well, <clears throat> what am I talking about when I say a of negative 2? That means that x, in this case, is negative 2, so I'm integrating from negative 2 to negative 2 because x is negative 2. But if I'm integrating from a point to itself, we know that anytime I integrate from a number to itself, the answer is 0. So a of negative 2 is 0. All right? Now, what is f of 8? Well, f says integrate from 4 to 8 of little f of t dt. Well, 4 is here and I start picking up area until I get to 8. But remember, uh, there's a temptation right now to say, oh, the answer is 9, because there's 9 area here. But all that area is under the x-axis, so it doesn't count as positive area, it counts as negative area. So the answer would have to be negative 9. What about a of 4? Uh, a of 4, now we're back on this function. I'm integrating from negative 2 to 4 of this little f of t dt. So I'm taking area from negative 2 until I get to 4. All of this is positive area, so I add up this positive area 8 and this positive area 17, and I get 25. If I look at capital F of 4, then I'm integrating from 4 to 4. And again, any time that I integrate from a point to itself, how much area is over that one point? None. So the answer is 0. And finally, a of 8, if I go back to a, if I integrate from negative 2 all the way to 8, then I start at negative 2, I start picking up area, picking up area, picking up area, and then I pick up this negative area, 9. So I have 25 positive area minus 9 negative area would give me positive 16 area. And that's my answer. 